Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kina, Bridge of Spirits, where we are working our way down the mountain so that hopefully we will be able to go ahead and rescue Taro's lost spirit and let him know that his siblings are waiting for him so they can all move on into the afterlife. We're doing a pretty good job of learning our newest skill, which I'm very happy to say is our spirit arrow energy. Huh, and I wonder... It looks like there's something hiding for us over here. So let's actually come this way. Even though Russo has been kind enough. <gasps> that was a mistake. <laughs> okay, let's not go that way. But I was hoping because Russo has been kind enough to teach us how to use our spirit bow that we would have been able to make it a little further, but it seems that we're going to need to be somewhat clever about this. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so that can happen. A meditation spot discovered. Rest here to center yourself and permanently increase your maximum health. <gasps> That's amazing. that you guys I really love that that that's how you build your health in this world is by finding these beautiful meditation spots yeah yeah I love this and we just figured out how to use that flower as some sort of special spirit energy too this is fantastic this broken path leads to my house the corruption there is powerful. Be careful, Kana. All right, let's be careful and... Ah, dang it, I missed that spot for gathering the crystals. It looks like we'll definitely want to try to come back. Yeah, I can't use the bow and arrow here, though. All right, all right. Here we go, guys. Dang it, they can dodge too. Oh boy. Okay, all right, he's up. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Okay, that actually really helped. Okay, not helpful. Okay, very not helpful. Apparently I can use the rot if I focus somehow. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, he's really good. I need to get the rot to help me trip him up somehow. Yeah, the rot apparently can help somehow. But I can't get him to hold still long enough. Uh, 
That's okay. We'll just pummel him with some spirit arrows. Okay, that really hurt. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Whew. Next time, I definitely am going to see if I can convince these little guys to help me out mid-battle, though. There we go. That's better. This must have been such a loving home once. I made that knife for Taro when he was a boy. I love these woods, and I tried my best to teach him the old ways. Consumed by the troubles of our village, I was not there for Taro when he needed me most. I hope we can bring him peace. More relics are hidden in the corruption of the Forgotten Forest. I'll wait for you there. Oh, so we found Taro's knife. Wow, you guys. More relics are hidden all the way through right. there. And we found a rot? Oh, hello, little one. I didn't even know that we had found one of them. Oh my gosh. Well, Russo has his home back. I wonder if that means that he can, like, safely come here more often. And if that might be of use to us somehow. Hello, little worry gig. I wonder if I get both of them in the air at the same time. If something might happen. No, just for fun, I think. Just for fun. All right. Well, that's good to know. And it I hope it is going to be nice for him to be able to have his home back. Good job, little guys. And the rods seem to be thriving pretty well, too. Is that the place we opened? That is the gate we opened. And that means... Yeah, the rock we moved is still down there. So I wonder if there's actually something special we're supposed to use it on here. Oh, oh, right here! Okay, let's actually try that out. So there's a lot of these crystals around. And I want to make sure that Russo's house is, like, as taken care of as we can make it. I guess he kind of adopted the kids after everything happened. Let's see. There's more stuff to find over here. Look at this. You can see where he was making arrows. Trying to teach the kids the old ways. One of my rot sprites with a little mushroom is sleeping here. Aha! And... Here we go! Another one of our little friends! Just waiting for us to discover them. Oh, look at all the mushrooms everywhere! That's so cute! I love it! Alright, so let's see. Let's take care of this crystal mystery pretty quickly. There's a warp point, so now we can actually use Russo's house. And the next place we need to go is into the Forgotten Forest, which is just a little bit further past the forest path. So we'll join Russo over there in just a moment. But, wherever we can find a little puzzle or two. So let's grab this thing. And I think that it does need to come all the way up here and be put down on this pillar. They're so cute carrying things around for us. Alright, oh, okay, I went too far. So I bet we have to move it a little bit closer and not go outside of their range. Alright, come on guys! How about you guys move it right over here? We'll start here. 
and we'll see if we can get it the rest of the way. Oh, here they come! <laughs> They're so cute! They're kind of like Pikmin that way. And one of the little rot sprites stays behind to let them know like, Oh, we're supposed to come this way, crew! Alright, let's move the object over here. And then... Aha, yeah, look at it lock into place. All right, they're making it. <laughs> they really will take the easiest path for them too. All right, how about that? Did that do anything? Hmm. No, it didn't seem to do anything. So I guess that wasn't what we were supposed to do. It had like an owl on it. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried. Oh look, he had a vegetable garden over here. I wonder. Aha! All right, so let's have those guys move that right here. There we go. I wonder if we can take this water. Yeah, look at how many. Oh, look. <gasps> you can encourage them to grow the garden. How precious is that? And then it looks like, oh, then they come over and they eat everything. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then there's one big piece here. Oh, and there we go. Yes, there was a, there was a rot hiding in the garden next to the gourds. Oh, I love that! Oh, look, and now we have the big mushrooms over here. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> we have little squash hats available now! Oh, be still my heart. That is such a cute idea. Putting a little gourd on top of my little rot. All right, let's see. There's a lot to discover at Russo's house. And we probably want to catch our breath for just a second. So I'll want to grow these in just a moment, no doubt. I don't think that path will take us anywhere. Do we have anything else? What do the kids think about all this? It's good to be back. Yeah, I wish Carl was here. Hmm, <laughs> they really love their brother. That's good to see. Alright, so let's grab that water and let's try watering up here and seeing if anything happens. Alright, this way, this way, this way. We'll have to move quickly. All right, did we find everything? I think there's one more right there. There we go. All right, we found everything, I think. Yeah, pretty sure we found everything. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have any more gourds or squashes, but that's okay. Oh, oh, interesting. So he really had like a lot of gardens. I approve. I deeply approve of that. So let's grab that again. I love this creature that the rot are turning into. And we'll see. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. What about down here? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys. All right, well, let's see. Is this a ledge? Nope. Well, it is, but not the kind you can climb. Okay, so now that we've gotten some new skills, there we go. At least we know how to put them to good use. Can you pick that up? And we're picking up all the little fox statues that we find along the way. I'm sure that's going to help us out somehow in the future. Alright, let's see. And maybe we'll feed them because that will give them a little bit more courage. Oh, look at them! They're so hungry! <laughs> there! Now they feel so much, so much better, I think. Alright. It looks like the way down. Oh, I wonder if I, like, slid down this path earlier. Oh, those spirit flowers are so beautiful. Alright. 
We're making it, guys. Oh, wow. Where are we now? What are these? Cute! It's more little fruit for them to be able to go ahead and eat. Nice! And I think it helps because then you're spreading some of, like, the good spirit energy all over the place. Alright, we'll wiggle up here. And... Down we go. Alright, my friends. We have made it. We have saved Russo's house. We have managed to wiggle ourselves. Aha! Now we can actually get ourselves over there too. That's what I really wanted. So we've made it all the way back down. <laughs> I never would have guessed that that path was there until now. And now we actually have the ability to pull ourselves onto this little island and find another little friend waiting for us. There we go. I'm glad we were able to take care of Russo. And I'm glad we were able to purify his home. But alright guys, we'll work our way back into the village and we will hopefully find more of the relics that Taro has waiting for us in the forest. And who knows what other little secrets we'll find because now, if I'm actually reading this correctly, so we found the spirit mill, there's one more shrine, there's three more hats and several more rot that we can actually find on Russo's mountain. And that's even before we get back to Taro's tree where there's apparently four, three more hats hiding and the village where there's apparently nearly 20 hats hiding. What? We've still got a long way to go. And I'm so happy because this world is so absolutely beautiful. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Kina and her adventures here in this gorgeous world. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh,